In this video, I'm going to share with you my closure on tangible contract fact-based words and non-tangible contract non-fact-based words. And to begin with, this concept, I'm going to use this two-word sentence as an example. The book. In fiction English, battle language, the is considered an article, a determiner, a sort of an adjective, and book is considered to be a noun. Is the tangible contract or non-tangible contract? Do we have a tangible contract with the word the? Let's use a juxtaposition. Let's look at the word book. Do we have a tangible contract with the word book or don't we? This is a book. You can certify that this is a book. Therefore, you and I have a tangible contract with what book is in our minds. Can we do the same thing with the? I can't pick a the up and show you what it is. I can write the word the on a piece of paper, but that would be just like sh me uh, sharing with you a picture, a picture of a book. It's not the same thing. It's a concept. It's a phantom in our minds. Therefore, the is non-tangible contract. It's a thought in our minds. Thinking is motion. And if we look at our syntax key here, verb is thinking in motion. So the is verb-based. However, it is not a verb because this word follows it. This word, the, has nothing coming before it. It's just sitting there. Now, if it was just sitting there by itself, it would be a pronoun. In other words, it's representative of something. We don't quite know what it is. And the reason why we don't know what it is is because it's non-tangible contract. We don't have a tangible contract with it. But we do have a tangible contract with this word book. The is an adverb, which means no verb. <laughs> the, and it's modifying this word into the verb of the thinking. Because a verb cannot stand by itself if there's nothing to think about. So it's movement an adverb verb movement in the reader's mind. That is how book is modified into a verb. Not only a verb, but a dangle participle verb. Meaning, we have thinking here, the thinking, but there's nothing to think about. So it's just dangling there. In the correct sentence structure, we cover all of these points. And I'm going to write out a sentence right now to give you an example of that. So I've written a correct sentence structure here. For this claim of the book is with the shelf location by this claimant's knowledge. Backwards, that is, for this claimant's knowledge of the shelf location is with the book by this claim. We syntax that. It's position, lodial, fact, positional, lodial, fact, verb, positional, lodial, fact, positional, lodial, fact. The verb is positioned here correctly. In order to show the line of thinking that you're conveying, 
you have to have two points to draw a straight line. For this claim of the book represents these two lines. For this claim of the book. Now we put our verb of the thinking in there. Is. Now we can move on into the rest of the claim along the same straight line with the shelf location by the claimant's knowledge. Straight line, verb of the thinking right here, moving the cause, consequence into the possessive authority. We don't have that here. This verb is just, it's dangling there. There's no closure to what's going on in this. Therefore, I've given it closure. Adverb, verb. Non-tangible contract, tangible contract. It is difficult to convey these types of scenarios in short video format. But I'm giving it my best shot. I'm going to make a lot more videos like this using simple sentences with different words. And uh, through repetition and study and thought, a lot of closures, deep closures, can be possessed through this wonderful language. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, contact me in a confidential at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your notifications. I appreciate your viewership.